Storybox presents Elfidin and the Dragons. It was the end of winter. The elves in the forest had almost no food left. All they had to eat were a few bits of grass that did not fill their tummies for long. Mummy Elf was very hungry. She said sadly, This can't go on. Daddy Elf's tummy rumbled. He agreed. We must do something. I have an idea, said Elfidin shyly. I'll go and fetch an egg from the dragon's nest. Oh dear, that's very dangerous, said Mummy Elf anxiously. Elfigo clapped his hands. That's a great idea. Elfitrix was already licking his lips. Yummy! A dragon's egg would feed us for days and days. The whole family went with Elfidin to where the big tree stood. The dragon's nest was at the very top of the tree, and in it were her precious eggs. Elfidin's mum hugged him and kissed him. Be careful, my darling, she said. His dad whispered, If it's too dangerous, you come down straight away, understand? Nobody will mind. But Elfiglow tapped his brother on the shoulder and said, Remember, all our tummies are counting on you. Elfidin began to climb the tree. He was light and fast, so he soon got to the top. There he found the nest with three big eggs in it. Luckily, Mummy Dragon was not around. So Elfidin tied one of the eggs to his back. He was just about to start climbing down when suddenly he saw a dark shadow in the sky overhead. It was coming towards him. It was Mummy Dragon. She will gobble me up in one mouthful, thought the poor, terrified little elf. Elfidin put the egg back in the nest and quickly rolled himself into a ball next to the other eggs. But when Mummy Dragon landed next to him, she said, Oh, you little sweetheart, you are my first-born baby dragon. You are not very beautiful, to be honest, but I will love you as long as I live. She began licking him with her big tongue. Just then, the other three dragon eggs started to hatch. Mummy Dragon was overjoyed with her four little babies. The days passed. Elfidin could not get out of the nest. He wanted to go home, back to his family. But how could he? Mummy Dragon watched over him all the time. Fortunately, the baby dragons were very cute, especially when they tickled him with their wings. One day, Mummy Dragon left the nest for a short time. Elfidon said to the baby dragons, Let's play hide and seek. While the baby dragons closed their eyes and counted to a hundred, the little elf climbed down the tree. If he could reach the ground, he would be able to get back to his family. But unfortunately, Mummy Dragon saw him. With one flap of her wings, she swooped down, picked him up and took him back to the nest. I got here just in time, she said. How would you have managed in the forest all on your own? Elfidin cried a few angry tears. <laughs> so his dragon brothers gave him a cuddle to cheer him up. Elfidin felt a bit better. The dragon family were very kind to him. 
The baby dragons grew fast. One day, Mummy Dragon said, Today you are going to learn to fly. Come on, spread your wings like this. The three baby dragons spread their wings. But poor Elphidon had no wings to spread. Mummy Dragon looked at him and said kindly, I'll carry you on my back. The dragons took off into the sky. Elphidon loved the feeling of flying. The dragon family soon landed on a hill where the little elf had never been. He could see a huge orchard with beautiful fruit trees. Eat as much as you want, said Mummy Dragon to her little ones. Elphidon was very excited. I can't believe that all this food was here and we didn't know about it. I must tell my family. The little elf could feel tears in his eyes. I miss my family so much, he thought. They must be very worried. So he said to Mummy Dragon, I'm big now and I can manage without you. Elphidin seemed so sure of himself that Mummy Dragon accepted his decision. If you feel ready to explore the world, then you must go, my son. His dragon brothers didn't want him to go. They clung on to him and hugged him tight. I'll come back and see you, I promise, said Elphidin, hugging them back. When at last Elphidin got back to his family, what a celebration they had! Mummy Elf was so happy that she cried as she hugged her little one close to her heart. We thought we had lost you forever! Elphidin told them about his adventure and described the wonderful orchard full of tasty fruit. It's about time, said Elphitrix. We were getting tired of eating grass. From then on, Elphidin had two families. His family that lived in the forest and his dragon family that flew up high in the sky. The End <laughs>